Hi there, my name is Tristan Shiner from Manitoba Marketing here. Uh, I spoke with you just on the phone a couple hours ago about uh, this video here. So just getting it sent your way. Um, I'm just going to go over a couple tips and tricks on a few things that I think that you can do to increase your presence on Google and uh, to get to that top ranking spot uh, because all that's going to do is get foot traffic on your website, uh, get people looking at it, and uh, hopefully getting some more clients, getting some more phone calls uh, from that. Uh, I find that lots of times uh, businesses and business owners just don't really have the time to do all this kind of stuff. Um, they're busy dealing with customers and with jobs and all that kind of stuff. And uh, I mean, I don't 100% know your situation, but that's just what I find, but I'm, anyways, I'm not going to go on about that spiel. I'll get to my actual spiel here for you. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go over three different things, uh, backlinks, citations, and content uh, in the video. Uh, they're all going to be education for educational purposes only, just showing you uh, what I think can help uh, increase your online presence. Uh, so do what you feel is best for you uh, with this information. But please, if you feel that I have something to offer, or if you just have more questions at all, please reach back out to me and uh, we can go from there. So first off, uh, with content, Google likes around 1,500 to 2,000 words on the home page, or pages just with that amount of words. Uh, because Google sends bots to crawl over your website, looking for keywords, looking for relevance uh, to people's search terms. Um, so as we can see here, you guys, this is kind of all of the text that you have, the content that you have on your website. Uh, content also uh, includes pictures as well. Uh, so with pictures, you can actually, you can go in and you can save them as extra keywords just so that Google recognizes that as well as another keyword, increasing your relevance uh, just another time. Um, now, I'm not going to pick apart anything on you, uh, but I mean, your site is old. It's 2011, so it might just not be optimized enough uh, to get you ranking um, in that top spot. Uh, so that's content. Uh, the second thing that I'm going to go over with you is backlinks. Um, backlinks are any link linking back to your website. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, this is a tool I use. It's called Arefs. And with it, I can basically scan a website. Uh, there are plenty of free tools, but they don't quite offer as much stuff, as much uh, content for me to for my clients and whatever. Um, but as we can see here, uh, you guys have 16 backlinks from 10 domains. Um, so you've got 16 links linking back to your website. You've only got three organic keywords and organic traffic. That's just, just people looking at your website per month. Uh, so most of your business is probably just referrals, people calling you. Um, not necessarily people looking at your business. If we go over to, this is just one of the top competitors uh, in the brand and area. They're not a brand and company, um, but they have that top spot when you search up Painter Brand in Manitoba. Um, they've got 1.1 thousand backlinks from 198 referring domains. Uh, but what we can see here is this number here, this eight and this 25, you want those numbers to be pretty similar. This is your UR rating and this is your domain rating. Uh, basically, this is how much Google trusts you and this is how strong your backlinks are. So judging that they have over a thousand backlinks and this number is only eight, uh, what that means is that chances are a lot of their backlinks are spammy. Uh, so when it comes to backlinks, it's basically a popularity contest. Uh, Google really only likes backlinks that are relevant to your website. And they will look at those backlinks and 
if they think that they're spammy or that they're coming from a weird place on the internet, they're not going to do any good for your website at all. They're just, Google's going to rank them low and they're not going to have any strength for your website. Uh, and then as we can see over here, they've got 1200 keywords and then 2.4. So 2,400 people looking at their website every month. Um, so these numbers aren't hard to beat. Uh, like I said, with those low popularity ratings, I guess, uh, it wouldn't be hard for Google to, if you had a website that was optimized and had real strong backlinks coming from places that were relevant to your business, uh, it wouldn't be very hard to take over the top spot. And then lastly, we're going to look at citations. Uh, so a citation is your business name, address, and phone number, just listed in any directory on Google. Uh, and what citations help is to rank you in the Google Map Pack. So that little map that comes up uh, typically at the top of the page uh, on a Google search. Uh, so as we can see here, you've got 14 citations and then the student works, the company from before has 26 citations so you're not far behind you guys honestly you rank I think third on the Google map pack um, but that top spot is just gonna be again uh, just better for your website more people looking at it um, but as for citations uh, it's not hard to get more you just insert your business in a directory like yellow pages uh better business bureau any of those kind of things and uh, sometimes there's sponsorships that you have to pay some of the really strong citations you have like a one-time fee for example uh, it depends on where you want to go but uh, yeah that's citations um so those are the three things content Google likes a lot of words just for the purpose of finding keywords to rank your website for. Uh, backlinks, not all of them are made equal. If you have a bunch of spammy backlinks, Google's gonna see that and they are basically gonna not like you. Uh, they're not gonna rank you very high and it won't do you any good. And then citations, uh, your business name, address, and phone number listed in any directory on Google. Uh, so that's all I have for you. Um, please, if you, if you do have any questions, uh, you have my email, give me a shout and uh, have a good day.